As this morning's online service comes to a close, I have just a handful of church life updates I'd like to share with y'all. And then I want to send you out with the benediction as well. One thing we're super excited about is that starting next week, we actually will not be having pre-recorded videos for you to watch as a playlist. We will be launching our live stream of our 915 service. So we have three different cameras. We have the software necessary now. Most of the parts have come in. Uh, and we've been beta testing it for the last handful of weeks, and we're ready to share that with you starting this Sunday. So on Sunday morning, next Sunday, the first Sunday of November, I believe it's actually November 1st, the, there will be no videos pre-uploaded. There will be a link that takes you to our YouTube page. It'll be found on the Worship at Home page, just like everything else has been. There'll still be a PDF of the worship liturgy as well, but you'll use that link. It'll take you to our dedicated YouTube Page And then at 9.15, the 9.15 service will begin to stream live. Probably a few minutes before 9.15, the video will begin to stream. But then we'll start that service at 9.15. You're more than welcome to join us from 9.15 until about 10. Uh, after 10 o'clock, when we bring the live stream to a close, it takes about 20 or 30 minutes. But that same live stream will then be converted into a video file that you can watch at any point. So if you would prefer uh, to enjoy the online service say at 11 o'clock, it will be a video file ready to go for you by that time. And you'll be able to watch it uh, at your leisure. And this is something we're going to continue to provide uh, for the future. Uh, we think that having a live stream of our service will be just a great encouragement, even in a post-COVID world. So if you have questions about the live stream or if you run into any issues, please, please do let me know. Uh, we have tested it for the last four weeks, but we know there's still things we need to learn. There'll be things we need to tweak and so uh, we would really appreciate your feedback. So feel free to email me uh, after Sunday and let me know kind of what your experience was like and, and things we might be able to look at. I'm not sure what we can and cannot do, but we're learning right now. And so you can help us in that process. We'd appreciate that. Also want to remind you that our new bookmarks are coming up because November and December, those are the last two months of our one year reading plan for the New Testament. And then we'll begin again in January. So this is the last bookmark for this calendar year. Uh, the bookmarks are available in the, the narthex in the hallway outside of the sanctuary. We also have some here at the church office. If you need to have one sent to you, mailed to you, please reach out to Charlotte and she can get that taken care of for you. And last but not least, this Sunday, so if you're watching this on Sunday, if it's not yet 4 p.m., I just want to invite you, if you'd like to come to the grounds, we're having the Lord's Supper on the lawn at 4 p.m. So bring a picnic table, bring your own elements, your own bread, your own wine or juice, uh, you, we're going to spread out on the green space here on our campus, uh, and then we're going to have some live music and some time to be together, and then there'll be a brief sacrament uh, worship service, and we will wrap that up by about 10 till 5, because we will also have uh, a 5 p.m. service in the sanctuary. So that's the on-site, in-person, Lord's Supper, outdoors, on the lawn, bring your own elements, 4 p.m. this Sunday, which is probably today as you're watching this. All right, well, I'm excited to see some of y'all hopefully uh, today. Uh, and then as the weeks continue, I look forward to seeing you on Zoom on Wednesday nights and other times as we have opportunity. But let me send you out to the rest of your Lord's Day and the rest of your week with these words. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with your spirit. Amen. I love y'all. Have a great day. Have a great week.